Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to knit a blanket on circular knitting needles. I'm gonna be showing you how to use circular knitting needles without actually having to knit something in the round, like a sweater or a hat. So in this case, I'm just gonna be knitting a blanket and we're gonna be using the circular knitting needles to make a really wide blanket um, something that you normally couldn't knit on normal knitting needles. To get started, you're just gonna need a pair of circular knitting needles and your yarn. Getting started on a project with circular knitting needles that isn't actually going to be knit in the round, it's actually very easy. You just need to cast on your stitches like you do with any normal project. For a project like a blanket, you will need to cast on a lot of stitches. Um, you can start at around 150, um, but then you can fit on like up to 200 or 300 on one of these circular knitting needles. Um, it might just get really scrunched up by the end of it. But I'm just gonna cast on about 100 stitches and then we'll go from there. Once you have your stitches cast on, um, the best thing about this type of project is you don't need to worry about getting it untwisted. Normally, if you were knitting something in the round, like a hat or a sweater, you would need to make sure that there were no twists in this cable at all, or in this, I guess, on the circle needle. Um, but in this case, because it's not gonna be connected into like a tube, um, you don't need to worry about it. So. This is the most important part of knitting on circular knitting needles, but not actually knitting in the round. So you wanna pay attention here. When you start knitting, um, you will want to knit with the yarn in your left hand. This is probably the most important part that will uh, make your work not be connected. Um, normally, if you're knitting with circular knitting needles and you want to knit in the round, you would start your knitting with um, you'd start knitting the very first stitch that you cast it on. So here's the end um, or the very start of the knitting. I would take this end and connect it here and start knitting and that would create a tube in the continuous kind of loop that is normal for knitting in the round. But we don't want to do that because we're doing a blanket and we don't want it to be a connected tube or something like that. So you're actually going to switch it um, and you're going to have the rest of your yarn in the left hand. So here is the last stitch that I cast it on with the rest of the yarn here attached to everything else in the yarn. I'm going to start knitting that and I'm going to treat this needle here on the end as if it were just a normal needle, just doing two needles like normal. So you're not gonna need to worry about the end or the beginning of this yarn over here. Just push it down and you can start knitting with this yarn, with the left stitch, with the most recent stitch that you did. And what that will do is it will bring everything over onto the next needle. It'll keep pushing it down in the circle, but it won't be connected to the other end of it. So it won't form like a sweater or a hat. Anything that's tubular, you won't need to worry about that forming. So here I've already started doing my next row here and it's not going to be connected to the beginning here and I don't need to worry about accidentally making a sweater. I'm going to knit a couple rows of this and then I'll show you what it looks like to give you a better idea of how the blanket will be forming on this. Eventually, as you keep knitting, you'll end up with something like this, which is still just a start of a blanket. I've only got like two inches of length here, but this gives you more of an idea of, of what it's gonna be looking like as you progress. This is just a simple little blanket. I've got a couple cables here that I have running through here. When you reach the end of a row, like I am here, I'm ready to start a new row. All you do is you just take the end of your circular knitting needle and with the yarn too, um, take the yarn here in your left hand and you just start knitting again. So just like I showed you before, um, we have 
the knitting just going here normally and eventually all this is going to be going onto this side of the circular knitting needle. Meanwhile, the end of the blanket is still over here and just very slowly it's going to work its way all the way around this circle. It's going to go this way, um, adding on a, uh, the next row here and then it's going to continue going around and around in a circle. When you get to the end of a row, um, like I showed you before, you just knit it off, finish the row, and then um, slide everything down here onto the right. And then for the end of the circular knitting needle, you just flip everything over like normal when you're knitting. With normal knitting needles, you flip it over and pick up the other end, and then you start again with the yarn behind you, and you can just start knitting again. You can use a circular knitting needle for a lot of different projects. It doesn't have to be just for like huge, really wide blankets. Um, if it's like a wide scarf or something, you can still use circular knitting needles. And sometimes um, stores will have a small, really a lot smaller size circular knitting needle and you can use that for pretty much any type of normal knitting project. Circular knitting needles are super nice to use though just because you don't have to worry about carrying around two different needles and when your project is here you can just slide it down here into the loop and you don't have to worry about it falling apart or part of it slipping off. Um, one thing you do need to be careful about though is if you lift up your project by one end just make sure it doesn't slide off the other end. Those are the basics of how to knit on a circular knitting needle without actually having to knit in the round. Hopefully that was helpful and I will see you next time.